Hi, my name is Roy, and I'm the Business Development Manager for Amazon Athena. I would like to show you how to use Amazon Athena to query CloudTrail logs sitting on S3. CloudTrail is an Amazon service that allows you to collect and monitor all API calls across your AWS infrastructure. I'll be using the Amazon Athena cookbook, available from the Athena website, to walk you through how to create a table and query data using Athena. First, let's review how to set up CloudTrail. You can click the link in the cookbook that will give you step-by-step -step instructions for setting it up if it's not already set. In the CloudTrail console, we select the Trails link. Click the button to create a new trail. I've already created mine, so let's see how it's configured. First, we need to select which regions to apply CloudTrail. In my case, I've selected all regions. Second, we want to enable capturing all management API events. Third, I elected to monitor object level API calls to this bucket, which is my Athena results bucket. Lastly, in the storage location, we set up our destination bucket name, where CloudTrail will save logs. You can also enable encryption if you like. After a few minutes, CloudTrail will start saving logs to S3. Switching to the S3 console, we can see that CloudTrail created an AWS logs folder followed by a folder with our account number and then followed by a folder named CloudTrail. Inside of the CloudTrail folder, our data is partitioned by the region, the year, the month, and finally the day. Finally, we see the gzip JSON log files. We don't need to decompress the files since Athena is able to operate directly on compressed data which really helps us reduce costs. Now that we have log data, let's switch back to the cookbook and copy the table creation statement. Switch to the Athena console. Let's create a database that keeps our tables. switch to that database, paste our table creation statement, change the bucket name, okay, and let's run the query. Great. You can see that the table was created successfully. Click the grid icon to see the columns and their types. Let's run a query. Okay, this query will select the error code and the event name from the CloudTrail logs based on the source, which service it came from. Specifically, we're looking for the S3 service. Awesome. As you can see, it's quick and simple and painless to get started querying data with Amazon Athena. Go ahead and take a look at other examples in a cookbook and explore further.